Hey Grandma, I just recently got this Super 8 footage back from our last trip to Alton and I can't help thinking how much you'd love to see it. I can't believe it's already been six months since you left. It's hard here without you, but we're all doing well. Mom and Dad are keeping your garden up and the cabin updates are looking really good. Grandpa misses you, like we all do, but those great grandkids of yours are keeping them occupied. You know, I keep thinking about what you wrote in your Bible, that letter that I found the day you died. Grieve not, nor speak of me with tears, but laugh and talk of me as if I were beside you. I loved you so, twas heaven here with you. It's hard to not have tears in my eyes when I talk about you. I think about you and the life that you built. I think about all the memories made in your home or at Alley Springs or at the shows. I think about the laughter and the joy. I can still hear your voice and it still brings me to tears. Then I look at what you built on that little piece of land. It's more than just a log cabin. You built a family legacy. Four kids, four grandkids, seven great-grandkids, and another are on the way. Milo and Blake have come along since you've been gone, and Abram will be here soon enough. It's hard knowing that they'll never have met you, but be assured, they will know of you. They'll be told the stories of you, they'll be shown the photos and the videos, they'll hear your voice and your laugh and we'll make sure that they play at the creek where you played with us. And I'm sure that if they ever come across that letter you wrote, they'll hold it and read it and feel the weight of it just like the rest of us. I can't promise we won't cry when we think about you or talk about you, but we will talk of you as if you were there because you are still here. And know this, Grandma was heaven here with you for us too. We love you.